Please welcome Jean Jacques Anou. For the one who would be interested to hear more about how we made this movie, I will be back after the end of that show. Thank you very much for attending and see you soon. Very very pleased to be he back here uh, with the COVID. I you know uh, I couldn't show up. Uh, so the last time I was here was a year and a half, which for me is very unusual. Usually I'm here every every two months, every uh, at the most uh, four months. But you know Los Angeles is part of my life. What's different is that I shot the same way, but with in, an entire French unit and with French actors speaking French. Uh, but we also made a, an American speaking version, uh, it's a dubbed version that I did uh, a few months ago, and of which I'm very proud, by the way. The mot posture immédiate, anticipation, feu Notre Dame. Notre Dame brûle. Ça venait partir de partout, les officiels, les politiques, les célébrités. On va avoir deux feux à gérer. Los Angeles became my my second home and my professional home, and, and I enjoy making movies in a, in, in the language which is not my native language. But also enjoy making this one in French. It didn't happen for me for the last 40 years. You know, this is the first time for the last 40 years that I'm doing a movie in France in French. Il va falloir vous battre à quelques uns. Paris est bloqué. Poursuivons reconnaissance. Poursuivons reconnaissance, c'est pas bon. Ça va? Alors on y va. The reason I ended uh, ended up uh, in, in here, I had no ambition to come to Los Angeles. But the movies I wanted to make, I couldn't uh, finance them in France, and people thought I was crazy. You know, I started with a, a movie in Africa, which won an Academy Award, which was very pleasant. Um, it was my first film. But nobody wanted to finance it in France, therefore it was financed by Ivory Coast and with, by United Artists in those days. And then, and so on, when I wanted to do Quest for Fire, you know, a, a movie about uh, early man speaking an invented language, it was an expensive movie, but nobody, everybody in France thought I was entirely crazy, they wanted me to do silly comedies, and I had to come here and I got financed by 20th Century Fox, etc. Ça veut dire désastre annoncé. When I do interviews on uh, in America, if I'm introduced as a French director, uh, this is uh, the clear sign that the, they, don't, they didn't like the movie. If I'm a French-born director, it's so-so. If I'm just a notorious director, famous director, that means that they like the movie. If we can mount with someone in the middle, I think we can arrive in general. With my men, we don't have volunteers. He really became international pretty fast, and, and he had like big dreams and scary dreams for, I guess, producers or studios. And, and he realized them, so I have a big respect for that. Well, I think it's a, um, internationally, we, we all come together and collaborate, um, particularly in this situation with the cathedral fire. Uh, we learned a lot from what they went through and, and um, what, what they were uh, up against as far as fighting that fire. We've incorporated some of the uh, techniques and equipment that they use over in Paris uh, with the Los Angeles City Fire Department. So a lot of collaboration goes on. We learn a lot from, from each other internationally. When we won the Golden Palm in Cannes for uh, Blue is the Warmest Color, 
I realized I was now part of the movie industry and then I, I made a little note in my pocket with five directors I was dreaming to work with and Jean-Jacques Hano was, was one of them. So I told him when we, when we met and he was like, okay, I want you in a film. I was like, no, I can't, Shh, your name on my list. And, and I mean, he's just astonishing to work. He knows everything about the technique and uh, he thinks about everything. And I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's amazing to work with him.